The propulsion power reduced warning in Chevrolet Volt vehicles is a critical safety message that appears when the vehicle's hybrid system detects potential problems that could affect performance or safety. This warning appears on your dashboard when the hybrid powertrain control module detects issues that require immediate attention to protect the vehicle's complex electrical and mechanical systems. The Chevrolet Volt uses GM's advanced Voltec technology, which combines multiple power sources to create an efficient hybrid propulsion system. The system includes a primary electric motor for propulsion, a gasoline engine that serves as a range extender, and a high-voltage lithium-ion battery pack that stores energy for electric operation. The Hybrid Powertrain Control Module, or HPCM, constantly monitors all these systems. When it detects potential safety risks, excessive temperatures, electrical anomalies, or battery management issues, it triggers the propulsion power reduced warning. The most common causes of this warning fall into four main categories. High voltage battery issues account for about 40% of cases, including problems like cell imbalance and thermal management failures. Power electronics issues make up 20% of cases involving problems with inverters and charging systems. The remaining 15% are sensor and communication faults that affect the system's ability to monitor and control the hybrid components. Understanding these warning triggers and system components is essential for Volt owners. When this warning appears, it means your vehicle is actively protecting itself from potential damage, and professional diagnosis is recommended to identify the specific cause. Next, We'll explore the specific troubleshooting steps and solutions for addressing this warning in your Chevrolet Volt. Diagnosing the propulsion power reduced warning requires specialized professional tools. Safety is the top priority when working with high voltage hybrid systems. Additional specialized equipment includes thermal imaging cameras to detect overheating components and oscilloscopes to analyze electrical signals in the hybrid system. The diagnostic process follows a systematic approach. First, ensure high voltage safety protocols are followed. Then, read diagnostic trouble codes and perform visual inspection. Phase two involves system-specific testing. The cooling system test verifies coolant levels, electric pump operation, and proper circulation through both the battery and power electronics circuits. Battery pack evaluation includes measuring individual cell voltages, testing capacity under load, and verifying the thermal management system is functioning properly. Solutions range from software-based fixes to hardware repairs. Software solutions include module reprogramming, parameter resets, and calibration updates from General Motors. Prevention is key to avoiding these issues. Regular maintenance includes annual cooling system inspections and biannual high-voltage system checks. Always seek professional diagnosis due to the high-voltage safety risks involved.